We are Andrew and Leanne, and in 2021, we packed our bags, quit our jobs and sold our car for a one-way ticket around the world. After indulging in some local foods in Colombo, we headed by train to Dick Vela and Hiragatia. Morning from Colombo. We finally got on the train and I thought we'd reserve tickets for a chair, but obviously not. It's probably going to take us about four hours to get down to Dick Vela. As you can see, it's very dark, it's very hot. <laughs> Might be standing for the whole trip. <laughs> We're currently in the hallway and I'm kind of in the bathroom <laughs> because the train is like packed full. <sighs> Maybe it'll get less busy as we go further south, I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> So the train started now, all the lights have come on and the fans have come on, thank God. Andrew's standing in a bathroom. I'm standing in a hallway. The bags are soaked. With toilet juice. With toilet juice. It's absolutely full. But apparently this isn't that bad because apparently third class, you are like shoulder to shoulder with people. So maybe we got off good. <laughs> This train is absolutely crazy. It's been packed the whole way. And then the whole time we've been here, there have been people stopping and playing music. There have been people walking by and selling things like oranges and snacks, which are called short eats. It's absolutely crazy and I love it. This is absolutely nuts. You can just lean out the trains here. There's no guardrails, nothing stopping you. So cool. Okay, so we're on the next stop. We've been on the train now for four and a half hours and we're finally about to pull into our station. And then it's about a 10 to 15 minute taxi journey from our station to our hotel. The trains here do not stop long, so if you know that your station's coming up, I suggest you get ready and jump off because they will not wait for you. We arrived! Good morning, welcome back to Sri Lanka. Um, we are staying in a little place called uh, Indanil Place Guest House. This place is incredible. The room is, is simple, but really, really comfortable, really nice, nice and clean. We've got air con. Every morning they lay out this incredible breakfast for us. And this place was 16 pounds per night and included in the breakfast, we get rice, we get a curry, we get sambal, we get hoppers, we get eggs, pancakes, fruit, and most importantly, we get, we get coffee. This chickpea curry is amazing. It's not spicy, it's really nice, really mild. I've actually become a little bit addicted to chickpeas whilst we've been here in Sri Lanka. When we were coming on the train, this man was just selling chickpeas with like sliced coconut shavings in a bag. 
it was so nice. Listen to the songbird this morning, it's so beautiful. And this behind us is our local supermarket. So we've just arrived in the town of Digbella. Now, the main reason we've come here is because I desperately need a haircut. So we're on the hunt for somewhere that will shave the sides of my head. Andrew hasn't had a haircut since Colanta, which is about a month ago. If not longer. If not longer. So I think underneath this hair. I'm going to be quite white. <laughs> Okay, let's find one. Yeah. So we've just passed this lovely little coconut seller shop um, to buy some tamale or king coconut. Um, he had some in the fridge, thank God, because it is boiling hot today. Um, we're taking some advice from our local friend, Mutida, and getting these because they're super refreshing on a hot day. And these are absolutely rasai which means delicious, we think. And we're right by the beach. These were only 150 rupees each. Bargain. So we found a barber's along the high street in Digvela. We've come in to ask uh, how much a haircut will cost me. And he said 600 rupees, which I think is just over two pounds. So I'm actually really, really happy. Um, we're just now waiting for, uh, for him to finish with somebody else before he cuts my hair. Five minutes later. Okay, the guy's finished with his haircut. It's my turn now. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Uh, he wanted to charge me 600, but I've given him a thousand. It was worth it. We actually thought that we had reached the end of Dick Vella town, but then there was a little side street and we turned down that and it just goes on for miles. One sec. Come with that. Yeah, the, the actual town itself goes on for, for, for miles um, and there's all kinds here. I think Leanne's just found a supermarket, which is one of the first supermarkets we've seen in southern Sri Lanka. We saw a few in Colombo, but this is the first one we have seen so far here in Dikvela. I'm just going to wash our hands and head in. For anybody interested in what a Sri Lankan supermarket looks like, this is what it's like. There's lots of sweets and crisps and things, so cassava chips are very popular. We've actually been looking for these because you could get them in Colombo, but it looks like here you can actually get pepper flavour, chilli flavour, hot and spicy. Might be taking some of them back. You can also get some what looks like traditional sweets. Milk toffees, you can get them in the UK. Jelly drops, fruit gums. So I think we're gonna get a selection and eat them on the way back. Here's where you get all the dried fish. Good prices, I think. All the different types of grain and wheat. Different types of like lentils. Maybe we should ask on the bus Matara. 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 Okay. Ah, thank you, Stuti. We've wanted to jump on one of those old British Leyland buses since we got in Sri Lanka a week ago. But we haven't actually done it yet, so we decided to jump on from Dikvela to Matara. Now we have no idea what we're going to do here, 
but we basically jumped on just for the experience oh, of the bus ride. No, it cost, thank you. No, thank, no, thank you. you. It cost us 60 rupees to get from Dikvela to Matara, which is absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's like 20 odd p. Yeah. And it was like 22 kilometers. Now, again, we don't know what there is to do here in Matara, but the bus experience was worth it because that was nuts. It was absolutely we crazy. We really wanted to film loads, but um, unfortunately they were playing really loud music on the bus, which we didn't know would happen. But the music was absolutely brilliant. Like it was really like upbeat and just really nice. Unfortunately, so. we can't share any of it on YouTube because of copyright reasons, but yeah, what an experience. So we just saw this place on the side of the road and it looked pretty busy. So we popped in and they're serving a load of different curries and vegetables and rice and what looks like chapatis. Um, traditional Sri Lankan way is to eat with your right hand instead of cutlery. So we're giving it a go. It might be a little bit messy, but we're trying to eat like the locals. <laughs> this is so good, but I'm getting really, really, really full. This could be the first time that I get defeated by a plate of food since we started traveling. I'm really struggling. There's so much food. And I actually asked for a half as well. And it's still really big. It's delicious though. That's it, I'm done. I can't take any more. I'm, I'm throwing in the towel. So that absolute mountain of food cost us 1,290 rupees. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So we just found this little island off the side of the beach and there's a really cool little bridge leading over to it. So we're going to have a little look and see what's going on. Wow. It's pretty cool. Oh, we can touch together like the wood as well, look. Like, whoa, feeling it shaking. So this is probably the craziest bridge you've been on so far. Some of the wires have literally snapped. It's swaying so much. The floor's caving in. What experience? So just a quick update from the future. Uh, I'm currently sat down in a cafe editing this video. We've just found out that three days after we left this bridge, it has actually collapsed. Really sad to see because it was a beautiful bridge, but we could tell it was a little bit unstable while we were on it. So just thought I'd add that. This is awesome. Come with that. So yeah, it looks as though this temple is actually still under construction. There's like a big drain here full of cichlids, like these, uh, these quite big fish. I'll try and show you it now. It's so cute. We didn't actually even know that this temple was here until we arrived in Matara. Go home with that. Go home with that. You can see from, from the shore, it's actually not finished being built. They're still building like a big pagoda up on top of it. But look at these views. Also, I just wanted to say something. Ladies in Sri Lanka, your hair is absolutely Beautiful. I've never seen such thick, glossy, long hair in my life. I have proper hair envy coming to Sri Lanka. <laughs> so these lovely people have literally just allowed me to come inside the bus. <laughs> it's this man's bus, the Joe bus? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's this man's bus in the orange. And they're gonna see themselves on YouTube because this is amazing, look at this bus! Hello, Chan. Hello! Whoa, that is a nice bus! Beep beep! <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew's left outside. <laughs> Hello, Machan! <Chan. laughs> Sorry! <laughs> What about this bus? Sorry? What about this bus? It's a really nice bus. Yeah, a really nice bus. The best bus. <laughs> Better than this bus. Sorry. 
Okay, I think it's time for me to leave. Andrew's outside getting boiled alive, so he's outside. <laughs> so as we're walking around here in Matara, we've just come across this tower. This is the Dutch fort that was built in 1560 by the Portuguese and then was subsequently rebuilt by the Dutch in 1640 following the capture of Gaul and it's still here today. So this was the star-shaped Dutch fort in the middle of Matara. It was actually apparently the smallest fort built in Sri Lanka but according to archaeologists it is one of the best in terms of its design. They've actually referred to this place as being a little gem. Um, really really pretty little little fort with a nice well in the center and with like this, this walkway along the roof. It is only a small little fort, but it's very pretty. So we've just happened again upon this long beach. It's absolutely beautiful. If you know what the name of this beach is, please let us know in the comments. It's right by the bridge that we were on before. It might just be Matara Beach, but we've literally nearly got this beach to ourselves. It's so warm, the temperatures are lovely. The waves are just crashing. We've seen loads of wildlife. It's really, really chilled here and it's so beautiful. Oh, and I found this random bat and I don't know if it's any good, but it was on the beach. So I'm gonna give cricket a go. I have no idea how to hold a bat. I'm sorry to any Sri Lankan people that are watching or anyone that understands cricket. did not look impressed. I think it was his bat. It was just on the beach though. He said thanks, but I may have destroyed his bat. I'm really sorry. It was a good bat, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Uh, where are you staying? Um, uh, Hirikatiya. Hirikatiya. Yeah. Hirikatiya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. the bush. <laughs> the First bush time came. Sorry? First time came. To Sri Lanka, yes. Yes. Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The people. Oh, very nice. So nice. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> this is nice. It's your boat. Yes. Uh -huh. And what do you do with this boat? For fish? What? Fish it. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, dolphin and uh, dolphin. tuna fish yeah. and everything. Ten people go. Oh this wow. This catamaran. Wow. You see? Huh? This catamaran. This is big. It's this a big boat. Big. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-six. So we were just walking down the beach and we happened to come across a group of people painting one of their catamarans. So lovely, she's got a restaurant just up the beach so we're going to pop down there and have a drink. It's amazing the kind of things you can come across when you're just walking down the street or along the beach here in, in Sri Lanka. Like honestly, some of our best experiences here in the country so far have been Leanne getting invited into the bus earlier on. That was just completely by chance. And then coming across people painting a catamaran um, which apparently they take out to go fishing for tuna. I love seeing how the locals live in a country and it, it, it's, it just makes the whole trip so special. She lives right on the beach here and this place here is like a... Um... She... Oh, yeah! He's in Sri Lanka? Yes, now yeah. we're on another, another house, my house uh, has, and then go. And this is this lady, what's your name? Priyanti. Priyanti. Oh, this is Priyanti. And her husband. Who's in the Josh. house? Josh. Oh. In uh, Amsterdam. She lives in Amsterdam. So beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So this lovely man is just going to show us his restaurant. He's not been here very long. The prices are very good. And it's right on the beach. Yeah. Right on the beach. Yeah. So you can come here and you can sit right on the beach and this man will make some food and some drinks and you can just chill out with the beach right there. So I think there's kotu here, so some Sri Lankan food, some Western food, noodles, pizza, sandwiches, all good prices. This man will look after you here. Hi. These are all our new friends. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. hello. <laughs> So do you remember earlier we mentioned about the, the boat that was being painted? These fish, these fish were caught on that boat. Some, some uh, fish and bread, very tasty. Yeah, I will make barbecue, barbecue and, uh, one, and make five minutes and then good. It looks very good. That cat will have those fish within a heartbeat if it gets the chance. When we come back, yes, yes. 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 yeah. Wow. So we have just made a promise to the family in there 
that we will come back in two weeks or so and we will stay at their uh, hotel we will stay at their hotel and we will eat with them as a family and we're going to go fishing on one of their boats as well and see if we can catch anything so we'll catch the fish cook the fish and eat the fish <laughs> they were the nicest people i think i've ever met they were so hospitable she welcomed us right into her family home we met all of her nieces and nephews we met all the neighbors all the neighbors came out to say hello the man who owned the hotel came out to say hello the man on the restaurant next door came out to say hello and that lady just goes fishing every single day sends the fish back to colombo so if you're eating fish in colombo you might be eating her fish what nice people. I can't believe that. What a beautiful local experience. Yeah, yeah, really was. Amazing. And also, we've also promised, they had a child there, we promised that we will bring her chocolate when we come back. Chocolate biscuits and toffee. Yeah, because apparently all children love chocolate biscuits and toffee. I mean, I love chocolate biscuits and toffee. <laughs> so our wonderful hosts here at Indonil Homestay have cooked us up the most amazing dinner. We've got fried fish, we've got curries with rice, with vegetables, a salad, water. She's also brought us some, I think it's buffalo curd um, for dessert and we've never tried that so we're really looking forward to that. But I just wanted to emphasize as well how nice the people are here. If you're ever in the Hirigatia area, consider staying here it's super super cheap the rooms are lovely the family is lovely they're really welcoming and we would have eaten here every night if we'd have known that she actually served food so we're gonna tuck in and we'll catch you back with the buffalo curd so this is the buffalo curd it smells like a greek yogurt mm. it's a little bit sourer than greek yogurt mm. and it, at, at, at the very end of it it tastes almost like a greek feta as well it's really unusual. Now, the woman did say to try it with a little bit of sugar. <laughs> Sprinkle some sugar on. Mm, it's really good. We've actually not had that much dairy in Sri Lanka. And I kind of miss it. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, it, it does take a little bit of that, that like sharp feta taste off at the end. And it becomes more like a, like a natural Greek yogurt. It's really tasty, really good.